Well, I have had some uh, some requests to uh, kind of give an update on the uh, on the road nowhere and everything. I am uh, harvesting and have been harvesting now for a few days. Um, the crop is ready to come in. As you see, I have the uh, the cane mill is up and going. This is a 12 foot four by four uh, that's connected. I had to do some uh, some rig at the top. Um, this is really uh, I don't have that much to do, or I would not have done it this way. As you can see, this 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 apparatus on the top. Uh, really for this level of um, mill there should be a post coming off of each side that would also uh, balance that mill. If I did this uh, for a long time and did a lot of syrup or a lot of squeezing with that uh, it would uh, disproportionately wear the Babbitt, uh, the, well it's actually a, a brass uh, 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 bearing in there uh, with it being just weighted to one side or I could counterweight it so that I could use one. Uh, I don't do that much that uh, I would need two poles but I do need to counterweight it. Since I only had this much to do uh, and I am actually doing the turning myself so I am acting as the mule I can take the weight off of that and then I set it on this uh, when it's not in use so that I'm minimizing the, uh, the, the, uh, the wear on the bearing uh, as I go around. Uh, the juice then will come out and as you can see it has stuff in it but it drops into this. These are the rollers as you can see they're covered in juice. The, uh, the stalks are crushed. The juice goes into this channel, goes into this funnel and then drops into the bucket. As you can see it's a, it's a pea green. That is perfect. Uh, that is exactly the color uh, that you want. I did do a bricks test on it. Uh, bricks is a sugar content uh, of juice. Uh, they use it for wines and that type of thing. Uh, premium is five and a half, uh, 15 and a half to 16 and a half bricks. This is exactly 16 bricks, so this is exactly ripe. Uh, I did boil down a test batch the other night, uh, just a, a, a gallon or so, and got maybe maybe a quarter cup of, uh, of good syrup out of it, and it was excellent syrup, so it is ready to go. Uh, I'm taking the big stalks first. The big stalks produce so much more juice than the smaller stalks. Some of these smaller stalks that I let go to head, I'll probably just let go to seed so that I'll have seed for next year. This was a very excellent uh, crop of dale, so I, I'm, I'm going to save some of the seed and some of these smaller uh, stalks, uh, they're not small because the seed was bad. They were just in a place where it didn't get as much rain and, and or didn't collect as much as in some of the taller ones and bigger ones. They produce a lot more juice. So in the interest of another crop and in the, in the, the, the result, the, you know, work to benefit uh, ratio for these smaller stalks is just not, I'd rather go to seed. That's, that's the bottom line. I will show uh, what happens to this juice is it needs to settle. Some people will heat it to 180 degrees and then let it settle again. I do more of a warm settle. I'll let it settle for three and a half or four hours um, and or better, uh, but not so much that it starts to ferment. It, and, and it has to be cool, uh, not cold, but cool, uh, so that the sediments, uh, and I do strain it uh, with a metal strainer just like you would use, and then I strain it through cheesecloth twice uh, to get as much of the uh, foreign matter out of it as I can. And then when it boils off, it will boil off uh, what they call skimmings, and you need to get all of those skimmings out, or it will, uh, well, it will affect the taste of your sorghum, and it will turn it green and that kind of thing. You have to be careful on what kind of pot that you boil it off in. Copper is best. Uh, stainless steel is okay. I cut cook the what I cooked the other night in just some Teflon cookware, and it did an excellent job. Now, I cooked it very slow, and it was a small batch and that type of thing, but it really did a great job of distributing the heat, and uh, it cooked off a very fine batch of uh, sorghum syrup. So, that's what's happening on the road to nowhere right now. Beautiful day. Just an absolute gorgeous day here in uh, North Georgia. It's going to get up to about 89 degrees, 88, which is 10, you know, 8 to 10 degrees warmer than it's usually here at this time of year. But the dry conditions have made it so that the syrup is not does not have as much water in it as it would had it been raining a lot. So actually it was good. Uh, this has probably produced a better syrup because of the dry conditions here at the end and the stalks did, did get to the size that they needed to get. And for the most part, 
in the areas where, where I'll be the, doing the harvest. So that's the way I do it. Now on this, uh, what happens here is I will take one of these stalks. As you can see, I have a pretty good size stalk here. That's not bad. You can see it against my hand. Uh, that's a good uh, three-quarter inch stalk. And what happens is I will cut it at the end so that it has this, I uh, just use a machete, and I cut that end. That end then is jammed into the wheel, and then I can't do this at one time, but I will actually turn the wheel just enough to get it started. I will put one stalk top and bottom, and I, if I had a mule on this, I could just stuff it full and it would do it. Uh, but since uh, I'm turning it myself, uh, I can get one of this size stalk in the top bin and one in the bottom bin. If they're smaller, I can put two. And it takes two turns of the machine to take the stalk all the way through. And then when it comes out the other side, you can see that it is, it squeezes it pretty good. It, it is, it is flat. It breaks the knot and as long as it's breaking this. And you can tell that you're doing a really good job as if in a day or so, like this, I, I did this yesterday, the stalk is dry. Uh, there's not there wasn't much water. There was not much juice left in that one. I mean it dried I thought like that in a day So uh, if you get it to that dryness, then you're getting most of the juice out of the stalk very good meal. This is a Columbus uh, Foundry meal. Uh, it was made in Columbus, Georgia uh, It's a Columbus number one three roller meal and it has some more torque on it. So uh, uh, it, it does it does a fine job. So that's what's going on on the road to nowhere. I will show you the straining and the boiling off of the, uh, of the sorghum syrup uh, here in a, in a little bit. You can find that. It's, it's really not that big a deal. You can find it on the Internet. Uh, they do it mostly with pans, and it will be a continuous uh, flow uh, from one end to the other, and then it, it drops off the other. That's when they're doing a big production. I'm not doing that. I'm doing maybe three or four gallons at the most. So I just boil it off in a batch. Uh, that way, if I have a batch that doesn't do well, I haven't ruined my whole crop. And um, so, um, and some of it does different than others. It just does. So uh, um, that's why I do that. So anyway, that is the road to nowhere. That's a little long one, but as you can see, we're still good. Everything looks good. Hank's here, helping out. So uh, we're uh, back to work. All right. See y'all later. Bye.